Hello, and thank you for joining this quick video cast. In previous sessions, you've seen how ideas are created and challenges posed. Today, we're going to present how you can triage and progress your best crowdsourced ideas and innovations. But first, let's take a quick little background check on what Edison 365 is and how it can help your organization. As you'll remember, Edison 365 is built on the Microsoft Office 365 platform. As such, it takes advantage of the full suite from Power BI to Teams, Yammer, SharePoint, etc. It's important that Edison 365 addresses both your top-down challenge processes, in other words, what are the things that are causing uh, difficulty for the enterprise and or bottom-up ideas that just happen to come from the crowd about what could be the next big thing. Today's presentation is really designed to walk us through the stage gating of taking something from an envisioned idea all the way through to something we might want to choose to execute on and ultimately deliver value. The session today will be delivered through a PC, a Surface touchscreen, so it's very interactive in that way, but we might also choose to do this through our mobile phone, an iPad, or other tablet of our choosing. So let's dive in. When we first get started with Edison 365, we'll go to our normal intranet or whatever SharePoint site or Office 365 world that you want to work with and live in because we're using the traditional Office platform. We simply launch Edison 365, and that will take us directly to the page, which is holding all of this information in your own Office 365 tenant. As we come to the main page, you'll start to see a few key pieces of information. One is a set of sliders that allow us to communicate to the team about things that are upcoming, challenges we're presenting, awards that we want to offer, or other insights about challenges or other corporate priorities, or just innovation priorities for that matter. We can see that we have quick stats that tell us the number of challenges, ideas, things under review, and items that are submitted as such. Last time you saw a video, you probably clicked on the Add Idea button or Add Challenge and walked through that process. Today, what we'd rather do is go into an individual challenge, start to take a look at something we want to prioritize around, and do just that. So let's pick on this Reduce Cues challenge and take a look at what ideas have been presented to us for that particular enterprise uh, initiative. In this case, we can see that there are five ideas that have been submitted. There have been 21 people that have gone in and looked at the view, and it's been outstanding for 36 days. We can also see that it's tied directly to our customer satisfaction and business efficiency strategies or categorizations, however you choose to do that. We've got information about our challenge owners, the particulars about the challenge request, the history of it, and ultimately the ideas that have been presented in support of this enterprise challenge. But instead of looking at an individual challenge, we want to go through now and take a look at all of those that have been presented so we can act upon them. We can do two things here to start. One, we might want to go through and look at the current status of all of the ideas that are in the, in the hopper for this particular challenge. And in this way, Edison 365 Ideas gives us a Kanban board or a view that allows us to go through and see exactly the condition, status, or stage gate that something's in. I can simply drag and drop these into new areas and new conditions if I want to go through and do that, make comments, and track those all along throughout the process. I can also drag and drop people onto a new idea if I want them to be an owner or a reviewer. This lets me go through and interact with the tool in a very refreshing and visual way, whether I'm using my finger or a mouse to go through and do that. This allows us then to see the ratings, the rankings, the scorings, the views, and so on. And again, dragging and dropping things from under review to awarded is as simple as doing that, and moving it from one section to the other. But you might ask, how do we go through and actually rank and score these ideas? How do we go through and say which are the best? So let's do that now. We'll go to the triage board within this particular challenge. And in this triage, we can go through and rank just those ideas that are responsible or part of this challenge. We could rank and triage ideas across the whole spectrum, or we could take a look at just individual submitted ideas. 
Edison 365 Ideas lets you go through and set up whatever ranking or scoring you want. In our case, achievability, risk, cost, revenue, impact are some of the items that we want to take a look at here. We're presented with the five ideas. You can see from left to right that the idea is here by Paul. What stage is this currently in? We're looking for more information as opposed to being awarded. And then we have the sliders, some people call them thermometers, that allow us to go through and move these items up and down, and by changing these sliders, potentially impact the score. Now in this case, because I moved the revenue down, it reduced the score from 6 to 5.5. I know that because it's highlighted quickly. As I go back up on the revenue here, I can step through each of these and work with them. The calculations are set, you get to impact what those mean and, and how they set the ranking and scoring, but you can see we have an average that's listed right here for difficult, for low, we can see that average as it's presented for us here, and or we could even go through and take a look at who has gone through and done the review on these particular ideas. It's important to see how they've been triaged and who's triaged them, so we can use the notification system to go through back and get the other participants involved. In this case, we can see the scores from the various stakeholders, and we can see the people that have not yet ranked it and or other reviewers that have input their scores as well. So this is how you go through and triage an idea in Edison 365. If something is good enough, we can actually go through and say create project, and that will drop it down into project online should we choose to use that part of the Microsoft Office platform. When items are triaged, we of course would want to go back and look at, uh, say for example, the status of those ideas and the reports and things that we would like to surface to others, including who might be our top contributors during this past time period, and what type of ideas are they committing to? What type of uh, input are they providing for us? Are they addressing specific challenges? And if so, are we showing that tree diagrams, pie charts, etc.? Maybe we want to look at how to delight our customers. So let's highlight on the customer satisfaction strategy. And then we can see which items are directly impacted on that or increase revenue, and we can add a few more ideas into our filter and be able to go through and work with things that are supporting the actual visualization. This is important because it allows us to act on those such that we could drill down to the data, we can interact with it, and begin to see you know, what are the things that are most important to our teams and get the ranking and scoring. So that's a quick few minute tour of Edison 365 ideas and how one goes about triaging, ranking and scoring, or moving things through the stage gate. If you have additional questions, please feel free to give us a call, take a look at our website, and thank you so much for joining our webcast today.